What's up guys, in this video the rally car gets paint. Alright guys, we just got a bunch of sick work done on the rally car here, like all these dimple dyed sheet metal panels I can't stop looking at. So, sweet. In this video, we are finally painting this thing. I mean, this thing went through the wheelie cart days. We originally bought it for 50 bucks. This car was on Velocity TV too when we did the 420 build. Then we did the rally build on it and it's just been through so many iterations. This is one of the longest builds that we've ever had on our channel. So. I'm really excited to finally get this thing in some paint. So, with that being said, what rally, like, okay, the iconic Subaru rally scheme is the, like, the World Rally Blue with gold rims. So, we got as close as we could get with, like, this, I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the sun, but kind of metallic-y color right there. Gets a little bit lighter there. That's gonna look really cool. We got four cans of that. And of course we have gold because gold rims are literally so good. Odyssey's got gold rims too. So, sweet. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this car completely disassembled. Now we're gonna attack the entire thing with an angle grinder and then shoot her for paint. All right guys, seats out, all bolts and the engine are out, so. Here. Cool. Now I'm caught on the mud flap. There we go. Yeah. Sweet. And we got those little spacers. My buddy Blake played it for me. So. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Road cameraman. All right, so everything's pretty much all cleaned up on this frame here. So, let's start spinning. Wow, this is super metallic. Whoa, guys, look at how metallic that is. All right, so I definitely prefer a panel that looks like this over one that looks like that. Especially black on sheet metal hides a lot more of those imperfections. At least a spray paint on a real car black would show everything, but for some reason it hides stuff better than this. But so I only two options. We have this black with these bl these black panels, and I wanted to go with kind of an aluminum look. Um, problem is this looks kind of like a Dow Dallas Cowboys go kart. I don't know. But it might look good if it had all of them like this, kind of like an actual aluminum skid plate or something, like on like a pre-runner truck or something like that. But we'll see. Um, I do really like this. I think I'll text some pictures to Jason and Joe to see what they think, because they're going to have to break the tie here. So we went through a bunch of different iterations. The silver was a definite no, but um, Joe asked me if we should try white, because like a lot of the old Super Rally cars had white. And I, it was really hard to tell. So what I did is I, I just threw some of this gold on one of the rims. And I think, like it's kind of hard to visualize, but I, I really like how the gold and white looks. But I also like the black. So I think we're gonna go black for the floorboard and then this, these, this panel and then this and that will be white. And then everything else is gonna be the metallic blue. And that's good, because that means we can just load, I have two extra, I have two more cans of the metallic blue. So let's be able to load all of that up and it should be pretty sweet. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I probably put something over this black and I'm gonna paint everything, all these white. Then I'll flip it over, paint it white again, paint the other side white and black. And then um, I'll wait for it to dry, mask this off and paint the blue. So I'm just kind of, I masked all the white off and I already painted the other side black and masked that off. All right guys, this is gonna look so cool. So I got the white done on the, the engine cover, I just masked off stuff like the fill switch and the, uh, the little clamps for the oil catch can. Uh, I got the floor painted black on this. Uh, that has like a couple coats on it. So I need to let that completely cure. Then I'll be able to mask that off and then we'll be able to keep the blue which I have in my hands. So we're finally done with all the prep work here. We got the white painted on the side pieces, we got the black painted, and then I just went crazy masking all of this off because I really wanted it, there to be nice contrast between all these squares which we've made pretty symmetrical. But now, we got this nice metallic blue paint. Hopefully it sprays on pretty good, and let's just get right to it. I mean, it's still wet, we just started, but look at the flake on this. It's amazing. Yeah, more flake than a bass boat. So I don't have the back center right now. All right guys, so basically we're almost done here. Uh, this stuff dries pretty quick, so, I mean, just look at this. Like, t just do a quick shot of the engine flake, just like of the flake. Yeah. See if it focuses. There we go. It's pretty sick. Yeah. All right, guys. So, all right. So far, none of the white paint is coming up. And it's unmasking time. I'm pretty sure the blue turned out really, really well. So. Oh wow! Cool. Oh yeah. This is gonna look so look cool. That. That's really good. Oh my gosh, this is sick. So here's how the engine cover turned out. Looks really uh, good, but I mean the gas tank doesn't match it perfectly, but the problem is whenever we paint these gas tanks, when you pour the gas on them, the gas just eats away the paint immediately. So we kind of don't have a choice with it. But it'll probably look a lot better once it's on the cart and matches all of yeah. this stuff. Also, we got some exhaust wrap we need to put on it, so. Final wheel is going right on. And this thing is looking so good. Here comes the engine. Oh, yeah. Unveiling around the corner. <laughs> guys the paint on this thing turned out amazing as you can tell in the sunlight it looks gorgeous so
stay tuned for the rest of the builds. Thank you, Go Power Sports, and make sure to like and subscribe. Catch you next time.